What's going on everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Astroneer. So in this episode, we're going to look at a couple more things on here. I want to take a look at the carbon, what is it? The carbon nanotubes, nanotube carbon thing, McDealers, wherever they are. Uh, nanocarbon, nanocarbon alloy. I always think of carbon nanotubes. I don't know why. I don't know why, but hey, if you guys like this episode, don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Now you're going to notice the ground is perfectly flat. We finally, finally got it. Oh my gosh, I was messing with it forever. So, this is what I did, in case you guys need help. Uh, it took me forever, it took like forever, a couple hours to uh, figure everything out. But what I did was I started with a terrain analyzer. I went to a brown color because gray is, it's during the daytime. It's very hard to see, or if it's like super light, it's hard to see the individual little triangles unless you're like back looking at it this way. Um, brown shows up a heck of a lot better, especially especially during the daytime, even at nighttime, but like you can clearly see all the different lines. So I went with that. And then also I kind of went and just started in a different little area. And what had happened was that this level right here was like a half of a half of a depth, a half of a unit, a polygon, whatever deep. It was a half a thing deep. That's why we could get it close, but we couldn't get it perfect. But now, now we have it absolutely perfect. It's great. I'm so excited. Now I do want to. Um, I want to reorganize again. I know it's it's just a thing. It's a thing. It's gonna happen. Um, these are just shadows, by the way. So don't don't worry. It's it's not all messed up. Um, I do want to reorganize again. We're gonna move this some stuff around. Also, you can see here I have a flat wall. Once you get one flat surface, it's a lot easier to get other ones. I'm not saying it's easy. And people who do do it that make it look easy, super jealous. Um, Brazilian gaming makes it look super easy. And then I also have this. I went down. Now, I don't know if this is a 45 or not. It seems a little steep. It seems a little steep. But uh, I did go down here. I brought it down. We brought the wall down this way. You guys see it's kind of messed up right here. Brought the wall down this way. We have a perfectly flat floor. We have a perfectly flat ceiling. And uh, we're going to make a little underground area as well. Yeah, it's super hard to get out of here. I might try. I might mess with it and see if I can't get a angle other than 45. Um, I want to say you can get a 60 degree angle. I want to say that. But I know that's a little tricky. So um, for now, we're going to stick with this flatness. That flatness down there. We'll probably dig that out. It's not going to all happen this episode by by no means, but I wanted to bring it. I wanted to show you how I did it. That's how I did it. And uh, yeah, so terrain analyzer, like I said, I got I got brown and I basically just started flattening and I went off of these because you can see they're a lot easier to see and then just kept going and going and going and then eventually we found it. Oh my gosh, it took me absolutely forever. Now, I, I'm not saying the base is going to stay brown or turn brown by any means, but I do want to use this to uh, color the whole base, like certain colors. I don't know. It kind of looks nice with the two-tone color of this. But um, my kind, <laughs> kind of my thought was I want to have it be either gray or black. And I want to have the soil on the ground like this. Again, I don't know. This is, and this almost might be like egocentric, and I don't want it to come off that way, but it'd be kind of neat, is I want to go... And I want to find a reddish soil. I think Tundra has red soil. And I want to just put like Z1 in the middle of the base. I know it's it sounds super corny, but I think it'd be kind of cool if it was like a big, huge like Z1. And uh, like walking around, you wouldn't really notice it. And you're like, wait a second, what is that? But um, yeah, I thought that'd be kind of interesting as well. So I do want to start with flattening some things, get some things organized. Um, we're going to, I have this wall here for a reason. I want to put stuff on the wall. I definitely want to put some stuff some stuff on the wall so we can uh, organize it. Probably mainly storage is going to go up here. Um, I also do need... Is there a storm? I hear a storm. There's a storm right there. Hopefully it doesn't come over here. Um, at some point, I do want to work on the outside. Make the outside all nice and flat as well. Maybe throw a ceiling across it. Kind of mega base style like we, uh, we were trying to do in the last series but kind of didn't get to. Um... But yeah, that's kind of the plan. I'm thinking, you know, we might actually be able to do the ceiling. We might be able to get like the walls and ceiling and stuff done. I just love how perfectly flat that makes it. Oh, it looks it looks good from right here. But if you look on top, 
they're kind of they're peaking they're peaking up a little bit but um i was super excited to actually get this oh my gosh it was amazing now another thing um i don't necessarily know how to do it or i'm not very good at it but there are ways that you can get these so that way they're perfectly like uh straight up and down like a 90 degree angle now, when I do it, I always have this little bumper right here, and I kind of, I kind of like it, honestly. Like, I, I kind of like it. It makes it look futuristic-esque. Um, so, I don't know. That's, that's just my opinion, I guess. My opinion. But, uh, yeah. Oh, shoot. I need to take this off. It's taking, it's taking power from me. But, uh, yeah. So, I do want to get this wall. I think we're going to extend this wall out. And finish flattening all of this stuff. And then I want to throw... I don't know. I want to put stuff on the wall. I had fun with the wall. There's this piece right here. I haven't been able to get it. Is it going to get it? No. Look at it. There's... Do you see that? That piece. Right there. Where are you? I cannot get that piece. It will not go away. And it's so annoying. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a... Wait. Hold on. If, is this, this is technically soil. Let's see if it fills up my soil bar by trying to get it. Is it going to? I'm trying to watch my soil bar. I don't think... Is it filling up? Okay, here. This is a good way to test it. Let's test it this way. Let's throw a canister on here. Oh, jeez. Uh... That was, like, super full. Do I have an empty canister? We need an empty canister. It's what we really need. If we really want to test it thoroughly... Hmm... You know what? I'll just... I'll stop placing the soil down until my canister gets empty. And it'll be good. All right. Oh my gosh, it just looks so much better. It really does. It was. It's been bothering me this entire time. I've actually been working on it on and off, uh, pretty much since the beginning of the series because I really, really wanted this to be flat, and I just did not like that it wasn't. And now it looks like it's finally happened, and it's just we're happy, we're good, good mood stuff. I just I like. It. I really do. So um, yeah. Is, is it empty now? Oh my gosh, it's so close. You know what? Quick way to empty it. Actually, quick way to empty it would be to use this wall. Fill in some more of this wall. <laughs> yeah, it'll be empty in no time at all. There. Okay, it's empty. All right, where's that piece? It's right here. Let's see. Let's see. Will it give us infinite? It started filling up. Hmm. It did. It started filling up. It gave me just a little bit. Um, doesn't really look like it is. It looks like there's like a sliver in there. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get the boost mod. Where are you? A boost mod. I have the boost mod somewhere. I do. I have the boost mod. I have all the mods. Wait, it's on my back, isn't it? No, it's not. Um, yeah, I have all the mods because I was using it to try to get the perfectly flat surface. Where is the boost mod? <gasps> there it is. Found it. Found it. Okay. So let's try this with that. Where are you, you little devil? You little devil, you. Where are you? I'm trying to look against the cloud to see it because it's going to be like one little floating speck. Um, where are you? <laughs> we lost it. We lost the floating speck. Where are you? It's gone. It's gone. I'm telling you, it's gone. Did I actually finish it off? I must. I might have actually finished it off. I don't know. We'll look when it gets sunny out. But um, also with the boost mod. Uh, shoot. We're gonna need some tethers. Actually, let's grab a generator real quick, so we can use our our boost mod without draining our battery down. Where is there? It is. It's like this thing is lost. Okay, there's that. And I'll grab one of these. Throw you right there. Perfect. Good to go. Now it's nice about this. Look at this. We're going to be able to do this wall in like no time at all. <gasps> Shwam. It's actually not that fast. It, does, it doesn't seem as fast as it has been. <gasps> oh, look at how wonderfully fast that is though. It actually is pretty quick. It is pretty quick. Um, You know what? Let's actually, let's double up. Let's get the boost mod and the wide mod on. Uh, yeah. Things are about to get crazy. I think it has to go down here. Perfect. Oh my gosh, look at how big that is. Look at it! It's huge! <laughs> Alright, so let's go this. Shroom. Oh. My goodness. That is amazing. Oh, we're almost out of soil already. That's how fast it uses soil. 
Oh, it's so nice, though. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, where's that little speck at? Where are you? It's gotta be here somewhere. It's here somewhere. I just don't know where we lost it. Okay. Alright, so... Um, I guess what we can do... Hmm, I'm trying to think what we should do. I, I kind of want to work on the underground, but I kind of want to get stuff here, but we need soil anyway, so let's do a little bit of the underground with the boost mod. It won't take us very long at all. It'll be super quick. Uh, we're going to be able to dig out stuff like nobody's a business. Shum. Insanely fast. It is indeed. Look at how fast. Look at We almost have two full canisters. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's the craziness of the thing. All right, so, oh my gosh, now we can just get that song. Oh, wait, did I see it? I thought I saw it. I thought I saw the spec. Oh, I wanted to see if I could get infinite soil off of it. Hmm. I feel like I'm just like maybe I'm in the wrong area. I don't think so. I think it's gone. If it's gone, I don't know where it's at. People are probably like, it's right there, you're blind, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, okay, we'll do this. Um, obviously, this doesn't really work the greatest for getting these edges. I mean, if I was careful with it, I'm out of power. If I was careful with it, it'd be fine. But we're not careful. We're just trying to get stuff filled in. So, let's just do uh, that real quick. I'm thinking maybe we should throw... Man, a ceiling would be nice. We don't have to worry about the storms, like, at all. And then we can always put the stuff on top too, like the uh, solar power and no power. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta put it on first. <laughs> you gotta, yeah. Okay. Look at how fast this fills. Oh, it's so beautifully nice. It just uses it so fast though too. But I mean, what do you expect? What do you expect? Okay. So we'll get the salt stuff in here. Let guys. Oh, it's gonna look. Oh, it's just so nice. So very nice. This is what a, a, a nice, clean base looks like here. Oh, it's the greatest thing. Perfect looking, fabulous. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's go ahead and just turn that off for now. Uh, let's finish this wall up a little bit. I wanna, I, I do, I wanna hang stuff from it. Um, you know what, let's see if I can do this. No, the wide mod kind of messes it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay. All right, so we need to throw storage on there. We need some storage, storage nation stuffs. I'm trying to decide what do we want to use for storage. I was thinking about using this guy, extra large platform type B, with a ton of resin on it. Or not, re well, yeah, resin for uh, for storage, but I don't know how it's going to look on the wall. I don't know how it's going to look on the wall. It's going to be kind of... Because it almost looks better just like this, like it is. So, what could we throw on the wall? We could throw the research on the wall. We could easily do that. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Um, also, somebody asked me about these, they're asking about the tethers. They're like, why do you have these tethers? And it's because I, I use them for work lights, essentially. Work lights cost a, uh, a copper, and these only cost resin, or... Uh, no, they're still compound. Oh my gosh, I can't get that one. Can I have you? Can I? Yes, thank you. Uh, these only cost compound, so they're super cheap. They don't put off as much light, granted, but they, I don't know, they do the job just fine. We might do some work lights, though, once we get this thing enclosed, because I, I don't know if I want to enclose it fully or not. I really don't. I don't know. Um, all right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to work on this. We're going to get some things organized a little bit up here, and then we are going to make some of this uh, carbon stuff, but I just want to get stuff organized. Like, I really do. I'm just so excited we got the flatness. Uh, this thing, unfortunately, I can't move, but I can place over this soil, so that's all good to go as well. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll do. I guess we'll do another time lapse. Man, I've been doing a lot of times time lapse lately, so hope you guys enjoy, and uh, let's do it.
Alrighty, so we got the base kind of reorganized a little bit more, and this is kind of my plan. So we have all this stuff up over here. I actually really like this. Like these kind of stay up out of the way. But I think what I'm planning is uh, we're actually going to run the wiring for this down underneath and it's going to connect up to uh, probably up to this one. I'm trying to hide the, the little connectors as good as I can. Uh, so I had this platform back here just so we can bring it straight over and straight down. And all you see is that. And I'm actually thinking about putting work lights on these. So throw a work light on that one. Throw a work light back there. Kind of uh, kind of light it up a little bit more. And then... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? We gotta finish this. Oh my gosh, it looks terrible. It's just awful. I do have my, uh, the terrain analyzer on right now, and I was kind of messing with it to see if I could get it to just, like, color the ground, and unfortunately, I really can't. I don't remember how that worked. I think I'd actually have to end up ruining my, well, because I could do that. I could... I, well, I can't even dig down. I can't dig. Hold on. Let's see if I I'd have to dig If I took that off dug down grab this put it back on did this filled it in It would give me okay, so that's how that would work. Hmm. Well, we could still figure it out We could use the uh, the narrow mod. I gotta mess with that But um the plan is I'm gonna have a vehicle bay here vehicle bay here uh, Another large platform type D vehicle bay over here and we're gonna have three vehicle bays and that is because we're gonna have a shuttle at one and we're gonna, well, I guess I could, I really only need two. Okay, I might put a vehicle bay here. And, well, I should have centered this then. <gasps> oh no, it's not centered. Okay, well, that's that's actually kind of okay because we could have, <laughs> I know, I keep, I keep switching up. Vehicle bay here, one for shuttle, probably the shuttle on this one. This one is gonna be for building random bits and bobs. Um, we're gonna have power generation on this. We might have power generation on the one over here, but we're gonna have uh, another one of these large storages and we're probably gonna throw, maybe we'll throw the trade platform on this side, try to even it out like, you know, every other one. And then on the flip side of that, I wanna have, I don't remember this box being back here. Big electrical box, neat. Um, on the flip side of that, I wanna have two more of these, one here, one here. Um, Probably another one of these here, another one of those there, another one of those there. And we're gonna have shredders. Actually, what we'll probably do is we'll probably put the trade platform on one and then shredders on each side, just to make it look matchy matchy. And then we can have a, like a little scrapping station with our trade platform and whatnot as well. So yeah, kind of plans, kind of things working together. Um, I thought about going through and throwing some tethers up here, but I don't know. I, I really don't want that line now. Now that, I, hey, now that I don't have that line going between things, I really don't want it. What is, okay, let's see, let's, a work light is what? Compact, or it's just work light, it's just, uh, it's just copper. Oh, also, oh my gosh, you guys probably saw this in the uh, little timelapse, but we have our own personal cave entrance now as well. Look at how, okay, that came out like perfectly. And look at that, there's even a, a thing of copper right there. Think of organic. We got some friendly neighborhood gas pods over there. We got some compound. And we have our own private, like, entrance to the bay. Ooh. That's where the, uh, that's where the thing, wait, was there a, seriously a cave entrance right here the whole time? <gasps> oh. So yeah, we have our own cave entrance. How cool is that? Private cave entrance. I mean, granted, the whole planet's mine, so it's kind of the whole planet's private. I have my own private planet. What's up? What's up? Yeah, that's right. Who has a pri private planet? Me. Um, so... It's kind of messing with this. Um, I'm not gonna dig into it so much. I just want to uh, flatten it, make it look nice. We'll have a room down here. I it's kind of I was gonna dig this way further and have a big room down here, but I think what we might do is we might have another large storage down here, um, a truck, maybe with a drill or something on it, and then we can always just drop off like raw resources here. So it's gonna be like our, our underground quarry mining base. Thing, mini mining base maybe ish thing I don't know I don't know um, trying to get this flattened out this is gonna be tricky I might need the narrow mod for this guy because I want to get actually let's do this let's go up this way I'm out of power oh shoot I have a terrain analyzer on and there's a storm oh boxes of death boxes of death boxes of death no good <laughs> no good all right let's do this if we do that there we go. We can actually get some light in here now. Uh, shrink. 
Look at that. Also, people were asking me to do the mini sun again. <laughs> I would, but it drops the frames so bad. Oh, it's like the worst thing. There. You know, actually, this kind of works down here. Because if it's a mining little area, I mean, you'd have like work lights and stuff like that, right? So, yeah, a little neat area. Okay. Well, I guess since we're going to be down here for a minute, let's go ahead and that's not what I wanted. I wanted to open this guy, take this off of here, perfect, like that. Grab this guy. Um. We'll grab this, flatten this out, make it look nice. Make it look real nice. Real nice. I don't know if that's gonna go over far enough. Okay, we'll just bring it over like that. And we'll bring it down like this. That didn't go over far enough on that one. Okay, it looks good. So you see how I'm just kinda like smoothing out the edges. And boop, perfect, look at that. <gasps> oh, I like it. I do like it. Now, I was actually kind of thinking about, I was going to flatten all the way out here and make this like whole room, but I kind of, I'm not going to lie, I kind of like the cavey looking aspect. Like, it's partially done, but like, you know, we started on it, but then like this is where the cave starts, so I don't want it to look like too nice. You guys know, I'm just going through for the aesthetic that it's like a, a cave, a caving area, and not necessarily like a fully built kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe that's just silly. Maybe that's just silly. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So, okay, there's that. Um, I was gonna leave. I kinda want to- actually, you know what? If we flatten it out far enough... Oh, yeah, if we flatten out far enough, it's gonna actually go into the cave, so... Let's just bring it around... Like this, so we can kinda like see the actual ceiling of the cave. That looks pretty good. But yeah! So, like, look at that. We have our own little- little cave area. Oh, it's so cool! I love it! I love it. And then if we really if we really want to get super fancy, considering how close it is to the floor, we could actually bring this out and flatten down the tunnels. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. That's that's a little uh little out of my league right now, but um okay. So let's um I gotta see I'm gonna see if I have some copper. Actually, what do I need for the large platforms? We gotta see what we need for those, because I want one. Actually, we could just do one, two. If I could get th three. If I get three more, that'd be super ideal. What is extra large platform type B? Two iron, two resin. Okay, so we got, there's enough for one, there's enough for two, and there's enough for three. Perfect. Okay, so we just need resin. That's all we need. Also, this guy is going to probably go on, since it's, since it is one of my printers. I'm going to try to keep it all my printers right here. Um... That's probably gonna go there, and then, actually, where's the small printer at? I think this one's gonna go right here. Like that. So we have all of our printers on one platform. You got the small, medium, large, perfect. Looks good. I like it. There's that. Um, I'm just, I've been throwing these on here just to kind of keep them, like, organized ish. Organized ish. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing yet, though. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. We'll figure it out. We'll just leave it there for now. It's kind of like, it's kind of an oddball thing. You know what? Let's go. We'll throw it in the cellar. We'll throw it in the cellar. Then look at how it like sinks to the ground. That's weird. Okay. We'll throw it down here. And yeah, look at that. Oh, perfect. Looks so good down there. It's like it belongs or something. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. I keep saying that. Gosh, stop it. Stop it, me. Now I about said okay. <laughs> Let's leave all of this stuff. We don't need any of this. Actually, I will take the inhibitor mod. Thank you. I'll leave all of this. Um. Yeah, we'll throw the Jenny on there. Why not? And then actually, this kind of this guy's kind of low. Let's charge up the battery a little bit. Get that charged up. Looking nice. Uh, don't need. I don't need extenders for any reason. We'll leave this copper here. Um. I don't need that either. Okay. So. Let's go get some resin. We'll come back. We'll build some. We'll build some uh, large storages. Probably put one there, there, th there, there, and there. And then we're gonna have a, one of these platforms behind it. That's gonna have the trade platform. And then one on each side is probably gonna have a shredder, I think. And then we might go like large rover status at some point too. So, <gasps> oh, we need a ramp. We need a ramp. For sure. Okay, so I gotta I gotta figure out which one's the 40. I don't know if it works going the other way. 
Um, maybe? Is this one the 45? Shwink! Let's see. There's no way that's it. It, would, it wouldn't be that easy. No, of course not. It's not that easy. It's really not that easy. Darn it. I was kind of hoping it would be. I was really hoping it would be that easy. I mean, it clears up nice on this side. That is not it. Is this it? I don't feel like this is it. That's like straight down. This looks like it's straight down. Doesn't this look like it's straight down? Is that it? I think that's it. Uh, no it's not. Nope. Oh my gosh. Okay. Come on, fly it out. Look nice. Look nice for the people now. Please, thank you. I mean, it's close. It is close. Gosh, that looks steeper than a 45 though. Uh oh, I left my oxygen canisters. Not a good thing to do. All right, we better get back up here. Plus it's super steep. I really don't have to worry about that. Okay. Let's just do this. We'll probably just have to do a temporary fix for now. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's just do this. Let's fill this in a little bit. And let's just pick one to go off of for now. I don't want it super steep. I want to be able to actually get up and down the thing without having like like this one. That'll look good. That'll be all right, I think. For now. For now. Eventually, you know, eventually we'll have to have we'll have to fix it, but that'll work. And we'll go up here, flatten it back out like a so. I don't like that it puts that lip on it. It looks good, but it just Gosh, is that the 45? That looks like it's straight up and down. <laughs> that looks so steep. Uh, you know what? We can roll with it, though. We can roll with it. We can make it happen. We'll do that. We'll roll with this until... Yeah, that almost looks perfect, too. That is really steep, though. That's quite steep, especially for bringing rovers back full of stuff. Try to hit that at a high speed. Gosh, should be like another ramp. All right, that looks better. It's not perfect. I understand. We'll work on it later, but for now, it'll work. We can go out. We can get our resin and start building. Oh, you know what? I wanted to hold on. Okay, maybe we'll do that in the next episode. Let's let's look at. Did I put this backwards? Oh no, I did. Where's the? Oh, <laughs> I set it over here. Oh, I wanted to try to keep everything looking symmetrical. Um, let's see. What is okay? What is nanocarbon? Titanium alloy and steel. Titanium alloys, titanium, graphene, and nitrogen. Steel is iron and carbon. Hmm. I think we might wait on that. I think we might wait on that. We might finish getting some things built. So, um, I'm going to run off, grab some resin real quick, come back, print up some things, and we'll have a good time. We'll have a good time. It'll be good. Also, if you're wondering about the scrap, guess what? Scrap right here. Like, there's my base. There's this whole stuff right here. Scrappable. Ooh, wind turbine. Oh, we'll take that back to the base. Also, and then we have this one over here. Uh, if I can move that shuttle port, that would be the coolest thing to bring into our base. I would love to. One day we'll be able to build it. And it's going to be super amazing, fantastical. But uh, until that day comes, really not a whole lot we can do. Okay, found some resin right here. We also got some compound over there. Not too worried about it. Um, let's go ahead and throw this on. I know people are going to throw a fit. I know they are. But I'm collecting it quick. Because that's what we're doing. Uh, that looks good. I accidentally got some compound. Alright, uh, ooh, is that? Ooh, there's a whole bunch right here. <gasps> yeah, I like it. Also, scrap right here. Like, I mean, we have scrap. There is definitely scrap for four days. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's full. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I don't like leaving pieces behind. And that's all I had enough room for, so. Like, if we get one more little tiny piece of resin, we'll have a whole other little stack of it, so. All right, let's head back. Uh, we'll check out our little ramp that we made and see how see how steep it is. See if it's too steep. But I tried to. I oh my gosh, I went everywhere trying to find this flat spot. I went. I was in that little area right there. There's an area back over there. Um. Oh my gosh, there's scrap right there. See, there's so much scrap here. It's like crazy. We're gonna be scrapping for sure. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good little jump. Okay. Uh, we're probably gonna blow through most of our hematite doing this, but that's fine. That's completely okay. Uh, large. Where's the... There. Examine. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I'm in the way. Okay, there. Perfect. Yeah, I knew it'd be fast because all this power is going straight to this. We haven't connected the power to the base yet, but we'll get there. We'll get there. We're, we're going to need copper extenders. We're going to dig under the ground. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be good. We're going to like it. It's going to be good. Okay, come on. You know what? I'm going to wait for these three to be finished and we'll be right back. All right. Third one's done. Also, I can see the problem now. Uh, we're going to have to have solar panels on both sides if we don't want to have them flat like this. I had to have them flat because you can see these ones aren't generating power because the sun's on that side. So, small design flaw. Um... We'll figure it out in the long run. Eventually, we're gonna have batteries and whatnots, anyways, and it's just gonna be it's gonna be pretty crazy. So, uh, I think actually, if you print it and you don't actually move it, like rotate it, it stays in the same orientation that it's printed. It it should line up just about perfectly. Granted, I don't know if I have this one lined up perfectly to the other one, but there is that. Perfect, that looks good. And we're gonna throw this. Oh, I have to rotate this. Ah, I had to rotate a whole 300 or 180 degrees. All right, let's see. What is gonna line up? I usually go by the blue lines. Uh, we're gonna get these close. They're gonna they're gonna be friends. They're gonna be best friends forever. BFS. Um there. That looks good. Oh, how am I gonna connect it? Oh, once we get a platform back here, it'll be good. Okay. Whew. Uh, shoot, the stupid shuttle's in the way. <laughs> uh, we really need to fly. Also, people were commenting that the, uh, the fuel in this is a lot more, uh, it's a lot more conservative, so that is a good thing. I did notice that, and I was kind of mentioning that before, but thank you for, thank you for letting me know. I do appreciate it. Um, but I don't want to move this until we get the new vehicle bay in, and then hopefully we can land at that one. Then we have this one free. <sighs> But if we have it land at this one, then this one will be in the middle and we can actually print stuff with it that way. It might be better for the ship to be over here. Actually, in all actuality, it might be better to have the ship land like over here on its own. We'll probably do that. My gosh, we have so much to do. Alrighty, guys. So uh, we are actually going to cut the episode there. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. Next episode, more base building, more stuff like that. Um, I'll probably go ahead and get power connected at least between this episode and up. And next episode, uh, maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait just in case you guys want to see how it's done. How I do it anyways, not how it's done as in like, you know, this is how it's done. But um, yeah, I think we're actually going to put a vehicle bay over here by itself. So that way the ship is like kind of out of the way. But, um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.